Oh, camera's covered. Oops, there we go. Focus. Yes. Hello, 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 everyone. Kim from KNRP here in Southeastern Manitoba. It is currently 26 degrees Celsius with uh, Humidex making it 28 degrees, which means it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with 82 with the Humidex. It's currently wind air quality at three, which is a high normal. I actually got to go out and play this morning. It wasn't hazy. Managed to get some more planting done. I still have plants in the greenhouse that need to get out. Um, the, yeah, had the doors and the windows open, cranked up the tunes, did some cleaning, did some planting. It was a wonderful morning so far. And now I'm here and I am going to do some, 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 something with my scrappy bits because... I've got lots of scraps once again. I don't know how we managed to do this. Hi, Belinda. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Raul. Welcome. So I have to do something with my scrappy bits because it, it's just ridiculous. But Tuesday, no, Friday, I forgot to pull this off the um, silicone parchment paper sheet. This is the piece of tissue paper that I stamped on and then put decoupage down and put it on the decoupage. You can see where I missed a few places of getting the de uh, decoupage. Uh, what is that? Mod Podge. Oi! Hi, and Welcome, welcome. So this is the faux rice paper that I did. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think that that could be used for a number of different things. Again, that was just a napkin guts, right? Because when you take your napkins apart, you get the guts. So I just stamped all over it. And let's see, can we do it so it's not quite as shiny? I don't have all my lights on, obviously, because I've got shadows. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I stamped it and they uh, Mod Podged it, put Mod Podge down on the silicone sheet, parchment paper, put the napkin down. Put more on and this is what I came up with. So I'm pretty happy with it. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but you know, that's how it goes. So I had chopped up some bits to make, trying to use up these scraps, guys. So I chopped up some florally bits so that I can do some floral cards. Decided I would do some bits for a journal I am working on. So, of course, you know, fish and flowers, frames. I like the things that start with F. So I did these. Using up scraps. Got to use those scraps up because, seriously, we end up with so many scraps. But these will go in a journal I'm working on. I received this lovely gingham um, napkin from a swap I was in. So... I've used it on pages in the journal, and I figured I would just make some bits to carry through with. So it's got a bit of a flow. Again, frame bits. Whoa! Flower bits, because we know I like my flowers. I'll clean that later. But once again, I have a bin full. Oh, look. There's empty glue sticks in here. Um, I want to empty try putting these with wax in them. I have to clean them out and put wax in them and use them like push-up crayons. So anyway, I've, I've got these, these crazy bits of all kinds of stuff. There's some embossed bits, some, you know. You know how they add up, guys. I know you know because... We all do paper crafts and they multiply like, you know, when you get an odd sock in the laundry hamper, it becomes like a laundry seed. The next time you open the hamper, it's full. All right. Enough rambling. How's everybody's weekend going? Is anybody doing anything exciting? You know, I really had hoped not to have quite a cluttered desk for you guys because I know some people with, you know, that have um, 
issues with clutter. Anyway, there's a couple of other projects I'm working on. I'm starting to do a bunch of process videos on how to use yarn if you don't knit and crochet and you happen to have a ball of yarn. So I've been coming up with ideas to do the process videos with. Look at all my little leaves and flowers and bits and bits and bits. So tiny. Most people will throw that out, right? Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome. My weekend is going very well, thanks. I've seen both my kids because it was Father's Day. Well, it is Father's Day. I've heard from one of my grandkids because she's coming home and evidently she's, her mother said something about, I'm not feeding you the whole time you're home for this visit. And she says, that's okay, I'll eat at Grammy's. So, fun things. Okay, back to these process videos. I'm planning on doing a series of process videos on what to do with yarn if you don't knit and crochet. So, of course, braided, braided yarn is wonderful for doing on the tags. And, of course, then I'm looking at this, I'm going, well, if I use the braided yarn on tags, I could put little eyeballs on the ends of these when I'm doing my monsters. Um, if it's braided, because it's, it's so neat when it's braided, you know how we used to braid them and make my grandson's hand is fine, thank you. There was <laughs> oh, the poor kid. Evidently he was emptying the dishwasher and a glass shattered in his hand when he took it out. Hey Pam, welcome, welcome. So he ended up getting five stitches, and then my son-in-law had a big piece of glass in his foot. So it's just been crazy. So I figured I could use this kind of thing and wouldn't those look great with eyeballs on the ends of them for one of my monsters okay and then i i had this great idea was you take a face this is a baby's face from some 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 good sorry some sort of scrapbooking magazine that happened to fall into my hands and we all know that Oh, thanks, Anne. It, 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 it's just, it happens, right? It's life. It's crazy. But normally I just have train magazines, right? So I had a scrapbooking magazine. My daughter passed over to me. So I chopped out this poor baby's face and I, I cut a slit in the face and I gave him a little mustache and purple eyebrows and put a hat on him. But that's another way we could use up yarn scraps is we can put. So what I did was I took the face and I cut just a little, little, little slit over the eyes for the eyebrows and just stuck some ends through. Like you can see where the yarn goes down underneath. But I think that's hilarious. for <laughs> A baby with crazy eyebrows and mustache. Yes, I could draw it. Yes, I could paint it. Yes, I could use my little bits to do it. But I've got yarn, yarn scraps. And I thought this was a fun idea. So baby in a hat with, oh, you can see. It's got yarn. Hi, Stitchy Pam. Welcome, welcome. So again, another way to use up yarn bits, you know, give people Real mustaches and eyebrows. So, anyway, back to today I want to use up some scraps because I'm getting overrun again. So, we know that this size of scrap I use for my books when I'm doing my book stacks. So, you know, I, I cut it up into little bits. That's actually big for my books, but that's okay. I need all different sizes of books. So I'm going to make a book pile. Then I've got this. So I've got 
little bit left over in the corners. I'm just going to cut some hearts out of it because I can. You know how that goes with me. I just chop everything up until there's nothing that I can really use out of it. Sorry, Cal, if you're here, I'm making hearts. And yeah, I can use this stuff up too. I'm going to cut this piece here and trim it down. And I'm going to get a couple of little books out of that. I'm running low on my books my book bits so i know that a lot of you would just throw these out i get it i don't know why i am fixated on keeping all these little bits i just don't know and of course i could take these other pieces and glue them down in a bits book or something but you know what? My bits book is full. I haven't finished doodling it. So I'm not going to start another one right now. I'm actually just going to take this. This is now really hard to do, but I am going to toss it. There, in the garbage. Magic. But look at all the little things I got out of it. I've got some books and I've got some hearts. Let's grab another piece. Okay, this is tissue paper. This is just going to get collaged down into a journal. One sixteenth, they're so wide. <laughs> Those are great to weave. My husband has made wood barons. I've got one, of course. He hasn't done any inlay on the top, but he has made me a baron. I'm spoiled, remember? Right now he's been turning wooden mushrooms. He did some tree trimming. And um, so he turned me a mushroom out of the honeysuckle that he trimmed. And a couple of other, uh, some ash and some Chinese elm or Siberian elm or whatever it's called. The one with the little flat white seeds to get everywhere. Um, so I did that one, you know, so I've got more mushrooms for my collection. And then, thank you. I love the mushrooms. Um, my daughter was over yesterday and she helped herself to some, of course, because my kids do that kind of thing. It just shows his work's appreciated, right? We were taking some to his family in BC and he had a whole bunch sitting on the table and we got up in the morning. There was a whole bunch of little folded pieces of paper with drawn mushrooms on them and the mushrooms were gone. Kids, gotta love them. Anyway, that one's going to get glued in. This one's going to be books. I could do a fish. Do a couple of fish first. But the thing is, I'm supposed to be thinking of something different to do with the scraps. Let's see. How about let's try and cut a cat out of this? Freehand cat, here we go. Tail. Body. And I know you guys are going, there she goes with her darn wobble cuts again. Oh, I think I cut the tail off. So oh, he's a goofy looking cat, but that's okay. I can turn that, you know, add some facial features. Have to be careful with the tails. Let's do it. Let's add some facial. This can go in the garbage. Let's add some facial features. Um, his ears down. Let's add some eyes. Nose. I'll just make his eyes. 
whiskers, maybe the chin. That's his tail coming up. Oh, so that would be his back. So he would be kind of looking over his shoulder, I guess. Tail. That would be a paw. And more for his tail. Need some white for his eye. What do you bring me? Oh, look. Magic. A magic mushroom, guys. I got another mushroom. Oh, look at the split in this baby. That is going to be so intriguing when it dries out. The wood is still very, very wet. So it's starting to split. Mustaches are good. You could put mustaches on all kinds of things. Oh, I can't wait to see how that one's going to dry. Okay, white in the eyes. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's just pull out a little bit of white paint because I can. Oh, thanks. Yeah, he does incredible work. I'm very, very fortunate. Like, if you saw the picture on my personal homepage of the living room, he built the bookcase. He built the table that the plants are on. He built the stool that the mushrooms are on. He built the table with the iron legs from the uh, sewing machine. I'm just trying to think of what else is on that wall. Um, all the turnings on the bookshelves are his. The carvings on the wall are mine. Um, but yeah, no, he uh, does some beautiful, beautiful stuff. You're trying to imitate kissy lips? What are you doing? Them? Are you cutting them or are you drawing them? Linda, are you cutting your drawing? Okay, so I've got a goofy green cat. <laughs> My sister just always comments, yeah, but you have to dust it all. But the thing is, when I dust it, I, um, because some of the work there is my dad's and my kids work like it's just yeah she she always has a comment about having to dust kissy lips you're trying to cut kissy lips okay let's see if i can show you let's take a piece of paper and we're gonna make them big so we're gonna fold it in half okay and we're gonna cut from the fold side Okay, we're going to cut from the fold side. So I've got the fold on the right-hand side because I'm right-handed and that's just easier for me to cut that way. And, of course, I have horking big scissors because it's just the way I roll. So we're going to start, like, doing a heart. We go up at an angle and around. Okay, can you see that? up and around like you would for a heart. Then you go up to a little bit of a point and then you go down. So it looks like this. It almost looks like a heart, like half a heart with a point, a wing. So it could be a little bit, bit of a bird, whatever, but that's the way I do it. And then when you unfold it, <laughs> it jumps out of your hand because it's alive. You have, you know what? I have to turn that big light on. Oh, okay. Does that make more sense to you, hon?
Would you like me to do it again? Show you again? I have to turn that light on. I've got a shadow. And it makes it hard to see if I hold stuff up to the camera. Wow, I was in the dark. Kind of like mushrooms. Okay, we'll do it again. We will do it again. I've got this light on. Hopefully you can see better. So, I've got a piece of pink here. Look, I'm throwing more stuff out, guys. And I'm going to collect lips. I'm just going to add them all over. You think you're getting it? I'll draw it this time. That might help. I just freehand cut everything. So, it's, it's just who I am. But I'll show you the shape that I do. So it's like that. Can you see that? Am I on camera? So this is the fold. So then I, like I say, I start with the heart shape. Yeah, I can't even follow my own lines. <laughs> God, you got it. That's okay. All's good. Okay, hands. You can work now. Oh, see, you can't see the lips on my hand. Let's put them on here. So this is the fold right in the center, right down here. Lips. Okay, so we've got lips and books. And if you guys are wondering about the books, these are the little books I make because And I'm, I'm running really low on books. I like to do stacks of books on some pages. Those are pretty much what I've got left. So those are how I do books. And then I like to use them and, and stack them up on different things. So I'm going to use some of this green and do some books out of it. Oops. And now I've got this piece. We're going to cut out what? I said fish, right? Let's do some fish. So I kind of had an idea of something I would like to try with my bits as I'm sitting here playing and, and cutting stuff out. Face, fin, tail. Let's do a tail like this. Fin. So there, I've got a couple of little green fish, of course, that you need decorating. I just keep them in a jar, a jar of fish that need faces and, and the lines and everything drawn on them. But that's okay, because it gives me something to do when I'm bored. Do I get bored? No. That's getting put in. Okay, now, let's see. I need a couple of bigger bits. I've got this. It's a piece of poster board, I guess. I'm going to use this. Yeah, I want bigger pieces of bits. I've got this. Oh, look. 
Those almost look like cats sitting sideways. I'm going to finish that off. You know, this is the way I create when I'm alone, guys. I just... Don't those look like cats? More cats. Okay. That one and that one. I need something for a head. Ah, let's use the yellow. So I'm going to make a head. Um, that's a big, long head. Okay, got a head. We'll put that back in the bin. Now on this head, we're just gonna leave it like that. And then I am going to put this back in half and I'm gonna cut out like sleeves. Hi Vanessa, welcome, welcome. Sleeves and then kind of like a shirt, big blowy out shirt. Sort of like that. I don't want those points on it. I'm just going to... kind of looks like a dress. I don't want it to look like a dress, really. That. And then this, I'm going to fold. And look, I'm making more bits. That can go back in the bin. So like this. I guess this guy's going to just have really short legs, but that's okay. Now I need something for a hat. I have a piece of, oh, there's a stamp on it. That has to get used on that other journal. You know, sometimes I just throw stuff in here just because I'm saving it for something else. I have a plan for it. It just doesn't happen. I guess that could be a hat. Oh, where I was making feathers? I haven't made feathers in a while. I'm low on those two. I think I've only got like six left or something. I need something for a hat. I'm going to use this for a hat. No. You would think with all these scraps, I would have something. I'd just go, yeah, you. Okay, I'm going to use this. It's a piece of a calendar that I just kind of scraped paint onto. So we're going to have a hat with a brim. It's going to go around. So we've got a hat. Now I'm going to take some brown yarn. And I'm going to cut it into smithers, smidgy bits. I like making Kim bits. I make all kinds of little bits. I like using up my scraps. I have a lot of fun. I think it's the child in me. We're making a scarecrow. Oh, I guess I should have decorated the hat before I start gluing yarn on because we all know that yarn is going to make it a little bulky. But if I make it flat, if I untwist it and make it flat, it won't be so bad. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Vanessa. I do appreciate the thumbs ups. Okay, leave the cap off. Okay, so got some yarn glued down. I just want to untwist it because we want it to look ratty, like straw, if I'm making a scarecrow. Does that look like hair? You can't see against my hand. Fly away, scarecrow hair. So once it's all glued together, I will definitely untwist the rest of this so that... Just get it really good and wet. Because sometimes acrylic yarn doesn't glue as nice as you would like it to. Okay, so that's that. Let's do um, like a button shirt. Let's put some buttons up. You know what? I have a hole punch. And instead of doing that, let's put some glue on here. Yes, I will probably use paint instead of glue, but at least I won't drip, dip it in my coffee because I know better than to bring coffee down when I'm streaming. I'll put the toothpick in. Let's give him pink buttons because I've got this pink. That would be good. That would be really cute. Actually, what I was thinking with the masks is it would be kind of cute to give them grass skirts and just some like bare feet sticking out the bottom. Like just short and the mask be huge. This is going to go in the garbage. So I've got the pink. So what I do is I'm going to just take a dab of glue on a toothpick. This is just a toothpick. It's just Elmer's white glue, for those of you that need to know. We're going to give pink buttons. Then we're going to have to put a couple of patches on. So I'll have to find some little scraps to put patches on. After the live on Friday, I scrubbed all my stamps. Oh, my goodness. You guys wouldn't believe the mess. <laughs> but they're all nice and clean now. They should all work beautifully. You know, it stuck to me. There. I want you on there. So these, of course, I will keep because I will make them into flowers or something. Skirts, yeah, little grass skirts. I think that would be really fun at the bottom of the mask. And then just some little brown toes or, or purple toes or green toes or orange toes at the bottom. I think, you know, like little bare feet. All those stamps, yeah. I finished it about 10 at night because I had a tray with a piece of felt in it covered in soap and some soapy water just some water on it so i stamped it in and i took a toothbrush and i scrubbed them all yeah took me a long time it was fun nice and relaxing so i i didn't play with anybody friday night okay so i've got some buttons so what i'll do is i will outline them in black i think i've come up with a new character guys we'll turn those into buttons put a couple of black dots on and we need some colorful patches. You know, the thing with the stuff in the bin here, 
They're not very colorful. Oh, I've got some pink. I can make a pink patch. A toes tool? Yeah, I need a toes tool. It's sort of like a toadstool, but different. Sorry, couldn't resist. Let's put some glue on that. Put a patch there. I don't want to use these others for patches. You guys can go for books. Um, oh, this is a lovely bit for books, but I'm going to use it for some patches first. Patch on the shirt, patch on the pants, books. This will make a nice patch. Bright green patch. Toes, too? Yeah, I think toes would be fun. I think toes would be a lot of fun. I'll have to figure that one out. Well, actually, no. I'll explain in a minute. I have an idea. My family, when I say, I was thinking, everybody kind of runs and hides because I get carried away. With my I was thinking sometimes. Oh, is this going to show very good on that? That's not really going to show very good on that. That's okay. I'll figure, I'll put polka dots on it with a marker and then put the uh, stitches on. Oh! I wasn't thinking, guys. <sighs> okay, I'll do one more. One more patch. Your book. One more patch, and we'll use this one. Just a little patch. Just a little patch. Haha. <laughs> You're not distracting me. You're just making me think of other ideas. That's all. It's fine. This is what I like about doing lives with you guys. Is I just... No. See? I glued it. I wasn't thinking. Get off. I'll use you in a minute. I need scissors, scissors, scissors. Right here. Oh... You know what's going to happen, don't you guys? You know, you know. I'm going to put a dot of glue here. Then I'm going to take these bits. And I'm going to stick them so that they're coming out from under the patch. And they don't have to be neat. It's straw. Yeah. Not sticking nice. And then you can go down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Polka dots. We need polka dots to the gel pen. Oh, let's use purple. There. Now it shows. Now it shows. Then we're going to put some stitches on it. Pam's cringing because she's going, that's not how you stitch stuff up. Stick down, stick down. All right. Is it fuzzy? No cringing there. All right. Good to know. So, of course, we're going to need uh, mittens, I guess. I don't know what you use for scarecrow hands, or is it just straw sticking out? First, let's do some 
eyeballs. Some eyes and a nose. Let's do a nose first. So it's going to be kind of like a mask. Put the nose on first. I've got yarn stuck in my glue, so it's going to be everywhere now. Nose. Oh, just small twig sticks? Sticks. Okay. I could do sticks. Oh, I could do sticks. I have this piece of embossed paper. I can cut little sticks out of it. There we go. Got it. But the sticks kind of go through because he's hung on the sticks, right? So I need one stick. Oh, I've got it. I've got it, guys. So normally they have just kind of like sleepy eyes. And we're going to just sew the nose on. And the mouth is usually also just stitched, right? Like this. So we need pink cheeks. I'm going to use these again. We'll put pink cheeks on them. Sure. That would work for sticks. That definitely would work for sticks. Those are buttons again. Does that kind of look like a scarecrow face? I've got to do something with the hat. I think the hat needs a, a big flower or something on it. I'm going to use one of these flowers. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Brenda. Nice to see you. Yes, I like lives as a brainstorming session also. I do, I do. So, no, one flower. Just one big flower. And I need some sort of a ribbon on that hat. What am I going to use? Just a little piece of pink, maybe? I've got too much pink already. Green, orange, that's, I've got this yellow, nope. This pink. Pink. It's nice to see you, Brenda. What are you up to today? Oh, you stopped for gas, you're driving, never mind. I didn't ask. I've got this cool, stripey stuff. That actually would have been great pants. I might have to make a smaller scarecrow in these girls. I just saw a real bright piece of purpley stuff. There we go. Some blue, purple. It's got paint on it. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. We're going to turn that into a ribbon for the hat. Those will be books. So I'm just going to curve it a bit. So it actually looks like it's a hat band kind of thing. I'm going to glue that on just like that. That's not, oh, see, I put that in the paint. That's not new toothpick. <laughs> yeah, I love creating with you guys. I really, really do. Love getting feedback. Okay. 
So he, that would look cute with a feather in the hat too, but I don't think I have any little feathers. And I don't know that my hands are working well enough to cut feathers today. We'll find out, maybe. No. Okay, so I've got a hat band. Let's just outline that because we can. And we're going to put this flower on. I think I would like to outline this in black, edge it in black. Is anybody playing along with my madness today? You guys just kind of doing your own thing and listening to me ramble and going, oh, let's do this. Belinda, do you have the lips done now? Have you got them figured, hun? So on my Fridays, if anybody wants to come live with me, shoot me a message because I'd love to do friends on Fridays. I'd love to have somebody creating alongside me, whether you're doing your own thing or something that I'm doing, like playing along kind of thing, either or. I would just love to have somebody come and play. Nice flower on the hat. You're crocheting? Oh, nice. What are you crocheting? So now I'm going to glue this hat on the head. Just smearing glue on top of his head. See how the hat goes. Trying to sandwich the hair between the two and pressing down good. You'll attack the lips later. That sounds like it could be a book. Attack of the lips. Ooh, that could be like a snarky book. Hmm. Okay, so I've unraveled the yarn so that it's all in its different plies. I think I might still want to fray it a little bit. So I'm going to take some of this yarn and I'm going to have it sticking out the bottom of his neck. Because I just think that that's the way it is. So probably, sorry guys, I have dirty fingernails. I was gardening. And I did clean them, but I guess I didn't clean them good at all. Hey, Barbara, welcome, welcome. I'm playing use up scraps and stuff today. So I've decided that with my scraps today, I'm making a scarecrow. Oh, look, I didn't add the stitching to these. And this one. Oh, I have to put purple dots on that one because it's the same fabric. Guess I should put it on the nose too. So I'm making Scarecrow. You like the sound of this game? All right, it's using up scraps and seeing if I can create something different. You've got new dyes? I need some new dyes. My dyes are boring. But then, seriously, have you ever seen me really use die cuts? I like them. I don't think to use them. Barbara, I gave the baby... Eyebrows and a mustache using up yarn bits. I think that's very cute. I think what I'd like to do is a whole bunch of ATCs with faces where I give them all mustaches and eyebrows, kind of like Groucho Marx. 
I think I might do a line of ATCs like that. Okay, back to the scarecrow. This corner isn't sticking down very good. I'm going to stick a little bit more glue in there. I'm just going to clamp that with a clothespin for a minute. Oh, Barbara, I wanted to show you since you're here. I pulled this off right after the live, and I went, ah, oh, I should have pulled it off at the live. But it turned out okay. I see where I missed getting the Mod Podge because it's white. But it's definitely interesting. I can see um, what I'd like to do is stamp it, do this, and then cut it out and make those example, what are they? specimen cards out of them <laughs> he is kind of creepy you know i worked with a an amazing young woman who suffered horribly bad from anxiety so i always had her carry a magazine around whenever we were going places so that if she started getting anxious I had her fill in all the O's one day. I had her fill in all the A's one day. Got her to do mustaches and stuff. At the, you know, the magazine was just a rainbow that by the time, you know, she'd finished with it. But we did a lot of babies that looked like that. But just drawn. Okay, that's better. I might come back and put just a little bit more behind to fill that out a little bit. I haven't decided yet. So I've pulled some strands off because I want to do it at the bottom of the neck over the top of the shirt. It worked really well, Anne. And because she was focused on the coloring or the filling in, looking for the A's, she de-escalated pretty quickly. I was, I was very happy with the way that worked for her. So I'm just going to stick some little bits of this here yarn down for the neck. Maybe it'll be a beard, but it's behind, so it would be the neck, sticking out of the neck. Yeah, I'm a big advocate of, of trying to refocus instead of automatically shoving meds in somebody. I know the meds are beneficial. Don't get me wrong. I, But sometimes I think some people are over-medicated. And she didn't suffer in any way, shape, or form by having me do that with her instead of... Um, having you take a mid. It was just a coping strategy. Fabric like material using a napkin. Is that the one where you use all that um, oil and stuff, Barb? Yeah. Oh, definitely. That's a great idea, Anne. I always carry gel pens. Love to carry gel pens. Okay, so totally forgot that the face was actually going to go behind, but since it's going to go on top, it's going to have to go right there. Ah, doesn't want to go right there, guys. But guess what? It's going there. I don't care what it thinks. It's going right there. I had my clothes pin and I put it here. Clap. Yeah. Oh, over cling film. I tried that once, Barbara. 
but the smell of the hot plastic really, really bothered my breathing. So I just tried it the once. Okay, so I'm going to use sticks as the arms, right? So I'm going to cut a hunk of this. A little bit narrower, maybe. Because I think I have to have them come out the pant legs, too, right? So we're going to go like this. It's a very cool effect, though, Barbara. I've, I've seen that, and I really think it's awesome. I just... Not something I'm capable of doing. So I'm just going to take a black marker, and I am going to color this end. And this end. Well, that end's going to be covered in glue. This end. And I'm going to cut a... Because I want it to be a jaggedy stick. I'm deciding. Need jaggedy sticks. Oh, jaggedy that one. That's okay, Barbara. There's, there's a lot of smells that bother me. Um... Some people just don't understand how I can actually use Mod Podge for that reason. So I've got kind of like little sticks to stick out of the arms. Are they too big? Do I do them thinner? Like twigs, twigs? I'm going to have to glue some. Whoop. Yeah, he's got a beard. That's okay. It's kind of fun. I have to admit, definitely kind of fun. I want to stick a bit of yarn out the arms as well. Playing in the scrap bin. Not that the yarn was scrap, but, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue down. And I'm going to stick some of the yarn in the glue. So it's kind of sticking out the sleeves. Kind of like a child, eh? <laughs> yes. From the Wizard of Oz. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue down on the stick. I'm going to stick it out the sleeve there. Really, I am. Doesn't want to glue down. Get out the clothespin. Ooh. That's okay. You're going to stick. I don't care what you say. That's a lot of glue, Kim. <laughs> Another clothespin. Wizard of Oz. Yes. I was kind of singing that, too. What would I do if I had a brain? That's one of my favorite sayings, actually, because sometimes I'll do something and I'll go, oh, my goodness. Just soften up a little bit of the extra glue. Because I got a little carried away. 
put that down. Oh, I like it. We'll have the big reveal in a bit. So should I have yarn coming out on top of his pants too? Or just at the bottoms? I know I have to have some out the bottom as well as the sticks. I hope I'm not boring you guys too much. I'm kind of in the zone on a roll. You know, trying to use up scraps. Think of different ways to use up yarn bits as well. You know, I think I'm really enjoying doing this scarecrow. I may come up with an entire line of them. Because really, they're fun. Nope. Nope. Oh, you're Cassie cutting. I found a couple of cat shapes. Well, they weren't cat shapes until I cut them, but in my uh, bin of scraps, I was looking for something for the shirt and came across those. Anybody do anything fun and exciting this weekend? And of course, those will need to be clipped as well. Gotta love having clothes been handy. Hi, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. Really? Fantastic, Anne. So you're enjoying your pizza oven. I think I would love to have a pizza oven. Now, these, I'm not going to have draw coming out under the shirt. Do you do your pizzas from scratch, and Do you make the crust and the sauce and everything? Nice. Very nice. I do from scratch as well. Those are holding. We're going to need a name. Yeah. Not sure I'm a fan of pre prepared foods to begin with either. I mean, we do smoke our own chicken, so it is semi-prepared, but it's not like it, it doesn't have all the, it's not pumped. We don't pump it. I just marinate it and use a rub. Oh, 
Oh, he's a lot bigger than I anticipated, guys. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated. And we'll just run a thing of glue down here. We don't want him too much longer because he's pretty tall. Pretty darn tall. Another use for scraps, guys. Another use for scraps. And of course, we can decorate the cuffs a little bit. Limited by your imagination. Just keep adding to them till you're happy. Name suggestions, please. Thanks, Barbara. He was fun. Jimbo, is his name Jimbo? Could be. We could call him Jimbo. Let's put him on something so that you can see him all in his glory. Or her. I guess it's a him because Jimbo. All right, this is Jimbo. Okay, now I have to do a bunch of them because I think that those would be kind of fun in a journal. I was going to say sticking out of a pocket, but with the yarn for the straw. I think that that isn't going to work quite as well. Snippet. Snippet's a good one. Sammy's a good one. Okay, so now I have to make a Sammy and I have to make a snippet. That one's Jimbo. All right. We're going to do another one. Am I keeping you guys from anything? Let's make a head. Again, we're going to use another green head. I have to make two more. I have to do a snippet and a sammy. So I'm just going to multitask here and do two at once. If that's okay with you guys. Oh, I'm going to put a dress on one. Oh. And he could have one of these little green cats on his shoulder. Maybe I'll do an owl or a crow and put it on his shoulder. Okay. First things first. Nose. Got a little bit of orange painting paper. We'll do the noses. A nose for one. That's going to be a book. Yes, a crow on the shoulder would be good. This one's got a big nose. Nose. And I need another nose. Garbage.
It would be, I think a crow or an owl, maybe an owl. A crow would be better, but I don't know that I could fuzzy cut an owl or freehand cut an owl. Okay, eyes again. This one's going to have these kind of eyes. This one's going to have round eyes. Oh, we should make button eyes. Let's use this green. Oh! Where are they? I know they're on my desk someplace. What do you think about big glasses? Do you think those glasses would be too big? Do I have to make smaller ones? I like the big glasses. Green eyes. What should be on a snippet? They should be on snippet. Got glue on my fingers. Come on. There should be two green dots here. There we go. There we go. Yarn bits. I'm on a roll. Belinda, this is this is the way I live. Seriously. I am down here every day. This is how I deal with my mental health issues. I spend the day down here making bits of things. So this one's going to have button eyes. You've got to stitch the nose on. And let's have a woogie mouth. Yeah, this is the way this is the way I do it. I get an idea and I just make stuff to fit the idea, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Mouth. Mouth. Yarn bits and glue and stuff and stuff. Let's just do a little mouth like this. Like a little Frankenstein kind of mouth. He's an angry one, but he's going to have big glasses. Definitely big glasses. Do I want to polka dot the glasses in white? Let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. So it has a chance to dry. Oh, and I could, if I can manage it, little bird sitting on the corner of his glasses or a cat. <gasps> I got little cat punches, like little tiny cat punches. I wonder if I've got bird punches. They're like confetti punches, you know what I mean? I like the glasses, guys. The only thing that would make it better is if that was bling. I'm not going to add bling to the ones. Iris Apfel Squirt <laughs> Oh, thanks, Sam. Yes, creating is therapy for me, for sure. 
bird on the glasses and cat on the shoulder. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far I can get with this. So this guy's face is done. Just got to add some hair. I'm going to add it to... Two, two, two. Let's see. Kyle needs more yarn. It's a great use for this yarn. I tell ya. But I think what I'll do is I'm just going to leave the yarn solid and I will unravel it once the glue is dry. I said that last time though, didn't I? I, I just had to play with it. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Jewelry wall clothes and red I could do some like that. They'll be like my ladies then, scarecrow ladies. These would be great in a gardening journal. <gasps> Anybody making a gardening journal? Purple hair. Well, but do we get purple straw? That's why I'm using this is because I thought it was kind of straw colored. I do have yellow, but it's upstairs. Okay. Hats. We need a couple of hats. I used that for the hat on that one. I've got this. This could be like a Almost like a two kind of a hat. We can put like a little pom-pom on. Oh, yes. We need orange for a hat for this one to match the glasses. Mm. Okay, first things first. Pink hat. Hi, Laura. Welcome, welcome. I'm playing scraps today, so... I made a scarecrow. And his name is Jimbo. So we'll make one of these roundy kind of hats. And with the purple marker, I'm going to give it a hat band kind of thing. And I'm going to put dots on it. And this is going to be kind of like it's a knit hat. And he's going to be on this one. Woo! Need some hair. This is Kim trying to use up scraps in any way, shape, or form. Because I just have to. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I could put bird dew on them. I showed you the way I do the glasses, didn't I, Teresa? I'll show you because I can, because I'm here. So a lot of times when I fold, I'll just do a little one. I've got to fold a piece of paper and I'm cutting the little bits for my uh, flowers. When it's like this, I just cut around it. Because it's folded, right? And then when you unfold it, you have little glasses. So then you can decorate them however you want. You could put bling on them, polka dots. I have a bin full of glasses, too. Okay, so I've got this hat. 
I gotta add some of this yarn for the hair. Then we have to find a flower for it because I put flowers on them, I don't care. Yarn. See, I'm untwisting it again. And the reason I'm doing that is because when it's like this, it's pretty thick. So I like to try and untwist it to flatten it that little bit. That's where that comes from. Okay, so I've got some hair. Put some more glue on that because it's not sticking the way you want it to. So I'm doing a... Um, a series of process videos on how to use up yarn if you don't knit or crochet. So I want to do some pom-poms and stuff, but this was the very first idea I came out with. I put these eyebrows and mustache on the baby. Yeah, zigzag, zigzag. So now I'm thinking I would like to do an entire set of ATCs with Groucho Marx faces. I'm going to cut out people from magazines. I have to find magazines with faces. And I want to do, do uh, ATCs with them because I can. Okay, so let's put the hat on this dude. Not sure if this is Snippet or Sam. Oh, I guess it's Sam because... The glasses are going on the other one. So I'm going to just stick them down like this. And like this. Just so that the glue holds the yarn in place. Awesome. So how do you reheat the pizza? I stick mine in my panini press. Flour for that hat. In the flowers is here. <laughs> oh, the air fryer. Yeah, I've got it in the air fryer too. I have. Oh, I've got this little piece of a flower and if I had some little leaves, I know I've got little leaves because I do. I just saw one. It's on my desk someplace. Oh, there's a little leaf. See, I dumped them out. Now I'm digging through it again. There's another little leaf. They don't match, but that's okay. It's a scarecrow. Your glasses look more like lips. Oh, you're that bird still doing that to your truck? My goodness. That's been a long haul with that, Brenda. Okay, so now I'm going to put this little flower with these little leaves. Let's just make them look like leaves. Because I can't just glue on little bits of paper without drawing on them first. Because that's just who I am. This is glue, that's paint. This is glue. This is glue. little bit there and then we'll just do this flower a little bit of glue on the flower so i just realized that i am working in my minute capacity my itty bitty capacity it's hard for you guys to see what the heck i'm doing Do 
don't know how well you can see that, but he is little. Okay, so he's got hair. I don't think I'm going to stick straw out of his neck. This one needs some hair and a hat. Hair and a hat. Oh, look, I've got this lovely piece because I cut it from that picture frame. Kind of hat. Like a witch's kind of hat, kind of pointed, kind of like a princess hat. And it's got the orange in it, so it will match the glasses. Okay, so let's make it kind of like a witch's hat. So I'm going to fold it back in half because that's the way it was. So we can give it a big brim. That kind of looks like a witch's hat, sort of. And I am going to ink the edges on this one too. I didn't on those, but that's okay. We had a bird, a crazy robin, that got drunk from eating the cranberries left on the bush from the previous um, year. We just kind of thought that the birds were eating them. We didn't think anything about it. And then we had this crazy robin that kept flying into our bedroom window and just the window was covered in feathers and poop and he would just keep launching himself at the window. He was drunk. It was just ridiculous. So I know about crazy birds. They can be very crazy. Oh, now I've got the pink one in the blue. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, cats would definitely help. Or what about one of those owl statues? You know those owl statues that the head kind of turns? Battery-operated things? So I think I'm going to put the glasses on before I put the hat on. I think so. Oh, I probably should have done this in black as well. Oh, well. Too late. Too late. Definitely want to outline the nose. I will outline the glasses once they're glued down. I think this guy needs cheeks for sure. And I'm going to clean this because it's getting a big buildup. <laughs> awesome, Laura. Needs a little bit of glue under here. And, oh, don't stick to the table. A little bit under there. So I'm going to let that glue dry and then I'm going to unravel the hair. I guess I need to pull it behind the glasses. Stick it through there. Oh, <laughs> awesome. 
Very awesome, man. All right. You know what? He needs some cheeks. I've got two of these little pink things left. I'm going to use those for the cheeks on him. That would just be nasty. It really, really would. Not really liking the nose, but that's okay. It's a scarecrow. Need a flower. Need a flower. No, I was going to do a pom-pom. Hmm, maybe, but I could, if I did that flower, that's kind of like a pom -pom. Let's get some feedback here, guys. Let's do it on the white so that you can see. That flower kind of looks like a pom pom. Yes, no. That'll work as a pom-pom, that flower. Or this one. It's a much bigger flower. The first one looks more like a pom-pom. Okay. We'll go with that one. We will go with this one. Love having you guys here when I'm playing. I love the feedback. All right. So this one's name is Snippet, and this one is Sammy. Okay, we need some clothing. Snippet is going to get a dress. I have this piece. Should I do the dress out of this? Oh, shoot him. I would. Yeah, it does match the hat. It's from the same piece. I don't have much tolerance for pesky animals like that. Okay, so we're going to make a dress out of this. So we've got a skirt. And we'll have... Puffy sleeves, because this is a diva scarecrow. Look, I've got more bits to use, guys. I definitely have to outline the head. Okay, so first of all, we need... Some sort of a big bow kind of thing here. I'm going to make a bow out of out of the scarecrow. A big black bow, black or hot pink. It's gonna take me a bit to get to the hot pink, but I think the hot pink would be like. No, I think I like the black better, to be honest. I should maybe do a bow on the hat and a bow on the dress. Sure, why not? Okay, so we're going to make a bow on a fork. You guys know how to make bows on forks? You 
drop the yarn, hold the yarn at one side, you wrap it around, you poke it through the middle tines. Seriously, you poke it through the middle tines. Right? Then you bring it up and around and you tie it. Just tie it in a knot. Oh, the yarn split. That's okay. Don't care. Tie it pretty tight. You take it off. Get trim that loose end off. Then you got a bow. Does that make sense? Nice little bow. So I'm going to put a bow on the dress. I'm going to put yarn across the waist of it so it looks like it goes around like a belt. And then stick this bow on. I guess I didn't really have to do that because the bow just kind of covers it anyways. Uh, it's not going to stick nice. Look, I'm having an issue. Surprise! Okay, stick the bow in the glue. Close pin it. Wants to slide. I don't want it to slide. Stay there. Thank you. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do a bow for the hat because it is pretty thick, but I will take a piece of yarn and go. No, it's too thick. Yarn's too thick. It's okay. Oh, he's feeding his reflection. Aw, poor thing. Okay, so I'm going to flip the dress over and stick out some straw, straw bits. Oh, I forgot to draw on the dress. Let's draw on the dress before I do this. We'll just wipe that glue off. Thanks, Brenda. They're actually going to be scarecrows. I'm doing scarecrows. But they could be mini masks. Definitely. Are you going to stay now? So we're going to make these so that it's kind of like a roughly sleeve. Like a gathered sleeve. And then we're going to have, like, it's a big full dress. And I think I'm going to wobble cut the bottom of this because I can. Scissors. Have a great day, Brenda. Yeah, Kim Bits. <laughs> There. Is that like a little cute little dress, maybe? I think her head should have been a different color. Oh, well. We've got what we've got. I'll just draw an outline around her chin when I glue it down. So, are you stuck? No, you are not stuck. Put the clothespin back on. Oh, are you glued together? You were. <laughs> I only use plastic forks for mine because I had kids and my kids absconded with all my teaspoons. So I had to buy new cutlery. So from now on, I use plastic plastic in my studio
Yeah, I can bits. I love my bits. I love making bits. What can I say? I really do. Oh, I have to do the sticks throughout the sleeves and the bottom. Is she going to have legs, guys? Or is she just going to have one stick going up the dress? Anyone? Legs? Okay. We need legs. I could just use sticks as legs. I could do that for sure. Oh, but I'll need to make some funky shoes. I've got this orange left. I'll make some matching shoes. Big shoes? I can do big shoes. Glue, more yarn, more glue, more yarn. Ruby slippers. That'd be cool. I think she's going to have goofy shoes, though. Ruby slippers would be fun, though. So now I need a couple of legs. I've got this piece here. I'm going to cut it in half. Big sloppy ruby slippers. <laughs> What about our go-go boots, ruby red boots? I don't know that I've got red paper. I would have to paint some. Well, I've got construction paper. Can I just chop two of these? Okay. Make it like twigs again. I'm just cutting the ends in little fork things. Uh, I need two legs. Those will be legs. That'll be the pole that goes. So if these are the feet, those could be the legs. And you want red goggle. I have red construction paper. It's kind of pink. Let me see what I've got for red. Red, red, red. Guys, you're challenging me. I like it. Ooh, look. I have some red. So, we're gonna cut it like this. And then we're gonna, I cut it long. So I'm gonna cut it like that. New game Stump Kim. I like that idea. That could be fun. I need two of them. So I'm going to cut them. So this is going to be the toe of the shoe is going to be there. So we need a heel. And it's got to go down like that. And then like this. Let's see what we've got here.
So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black. And they're not going to be quite go-go boots. Maybe more like army boots. Draw me some dots. So that's like the eyelets. And then I'm going to take a fine white. And I know that go-go boots didn't have laces. But that's okay. And I'm going to pretend that there's a bow here. Okay, Laura, have a wonderful day. See you Tuesday, hon. It would be very entertaining. Does that pass, Muster Ladies? Yeah, I had to make do because Kim's only got <laughs> so much stuff. Even if it's a lot. Twiggy legs. Now this is going to be the fun part. Doesn't have knobby knees. That's a good thing. Well, am I on camera? I'm not on camera. Sorry, guys. So I'm taking a little twig of that. Wood like paper. And you know what? They need black soles. Almost like Kinky Boots. You guys know that movie? Love that movie. Saw the play when it was here in town. Love it. Yeah, we got some Kinky Boots. So is she going to be pigeon-toed? Are the legs going to go this way? Or are they going to go that way? I could have done knobby knees. I didn't even think about it. So, do we want pigeon toed? Or do we want like this? Please tell me, guys. Please pipe up. Oops. Pigeon toed or straight, ladies. Pigeon toed or straight. Feedback required here. Not pigeon toed, not pigeon toed. All right. We've got the arms in, sort of. I have to use these guys on them. Just hold them a little bit. Hi, Brenda. How are ya? Welcome, welcome. It's been a while since I've seen you. Pigeon toad. <laughs> I've got one pigeon toad and two not pigeon toad. And of course, they're already drawn, so... There. You know, I almost want to put a bend in this. I wonder if I could do that. Ha! Look. I put a bend. So the those are knee boots, guys. Oh. 
No, that doesn't bend the right way then. Your knee bends the wrong way. Crap. Oh, well, it's a scarecrow. Barbara always behaves when she's here. Uh, so when I do yarn and it's not sticking down nice, like this is not sticking down nice, I am going to take a little strip of paper and put it on top because... It just holds it down that little bit. Then I, cause I need the yarn to stay where it is. So just take a little strip of paper. And I just put it across to hold things down. Then I need a couple more clothespins. I should be able to take this clothespin off. Should we turn her over and see what she looks like? Step to the clothespin. All right. All right. Can you see her? Her cheeks look like her eyes. I'm going to have to color those a little bit. Let's just do something with those cheeks so that they look more like cheeks than eyes. Pins. Because, so I just took a red pencil crayon. I'm just going to come at the top of her cheeks and give it a little bit of color. Let's find a pencil that will actually work nice with that. I find the Crayola pencil crayons are the best for giving, helping with detail work like this. And I guess maybe her cheeks could have been a little bit lower, partially under the glasses, but it's too late. Too late now. Let's undo this hair while I'm here because I can. Hi, Tina. Welcome, welcome. I am making scarecrows because I am using up scrap bits. So I've gotten carried away. <laughs> Surprise. Kim never gets carried away. Um... And I am having an absolute blast making some scarecrows. So definitely I have to come underneath this face. just to show the, the definition of it because the face is so yellow. Let's see, can I take these off now? I can, then I will trim this yellow paper down, or white paper. Whoop. So that other glue is not totally dry yet, so I can't come in and undo the hair, the straw. So there's Snippet. I 
really want to do this hair and I know it's wet and I know I'm going to get into trouble doing it. But it's just so clumpy. And it's straw, not hair. Because really, Kim, rude. You guys get the idea. I'm just going to untangle this yarn when it's a bit more dry. And then it'll be more straw-like. I might trim this down just a little bit. Bye, Anne. Thanks for coming. She looks like you. Okay, so that's two. I've got the head of this one. Oh, my goodness. I've been on for two hours. Sorry, guys. Am I keeping you from anything? I appreciate you being here and keeping me company. Oh, we didn't give her a stick. She needs a stick. She needs a stick. Forgot the stick, guys. Let's give her a stick. There. So now she's a scarecrow. She's got a stick. She's fun. She's fun. <laughs> I'm keeping you from packing. Are you taking a trip? Moving? I don't like to pack either. Okay, so we've got... Jimbo and Snippet, we need to do Sammy. So we've got Sammy's face. Sammy needs, oh, we didn't put any patches on her. I'll come back to the patches for Snippet. Let's get Sammy happening. What else have I got here? I've got this really goofy, ugly piece. Because his face, her face is so long, I think, She's going to have like a long pair of pants out of this. <laughs> Good thing, Brenda. So again, I'm just folding it in half long ones. Now I'm thinking, why am I thinking? You're cutting pants. Really long pants. We've got nice long pants. Let's put patches on it right now while I'm thinking about it. I've got this little bit of green. I guess I could cut glasses out of that one. No, just make patches. <laughs> awesome, Brenda. Thanks. Belinda, thanks. I'm having fun. I am having fun. So this one's just going to be patch like this. We need to have a patch with stuff coming out from under it like we did on this one. So how about if we just take a little piece of this yellow. You know, those would make great glasses. Look, I've got another piece of that yellow over here. I'll use this one because that's going to be glasses. And our first dude doesn't have boots. Needs to pick it down just a little. So before we get too much farther, I am just going to put this patch here and I am just going to take some of this yarn, these yarn bits and stick them so that they're coming out of the glue. These are really nice and frayed. I like it. I like it. And I'll glue this down. Like 
this. So it looks like he's got some straw coming out from under his patch. I don't know how well you can see that. Again, it's against my hand. Can you see the little bits of stuff coming out? Question. When I move stuff away from the Can Canada, from the camera, sorry, do I move it too fast? Does it give your stomach a, whoa, you know what I mean? Let's get that patch done. Okay, so it's got a couple of patches. And you know what? I think he needs kind of like a frayed kind of thing at the bottom of its pants. I'm just going to wobble cut this one because I like to wobble cut. Oh, I like that. You know, one pant leg should be more worn than the other. It was too fast. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so we've got the head, we've got the pants. Stick down, please. Make sure my these are ready to go, not stuck together. All right, so we need a shirt of some sort. It'd be nice if I had like a plaid kind of thing. Hmm. <laughs> I've got this. This guy is just going to be an absolute mishmash. I'm going to use this piece over here. I'm going to make that into a shirt. Yeah, raggedy pants. Okay, so I'm folding it. We're going to give this one like a Oh, hmm. We could still give it a V-neck. That's fine. And we're going to have sleeves. And then it's going to the shirt. And I think this could be kind of like a raggedy shirt. I'm going to open it up and... Make it kind of frayed. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to blacken this edge really well. Then I'm going to make it look a little bit distressed. I do not have distress inks. So I am going to take... Oh, I left the cap off this marker. Well, let's just throw that in the garbage because it doesn't want to play anymore. To make this kind of look like it's got some tears in it. Some holes. Oh, you know what? Like I did that baby's face. Yeah, it's a gel print scrap. I have lots of gel print. That's what I use. That's what this is, gel print scrap. This one too. I am going to do this. I am going to take this and I am going to take this. 
And I'm going to cut a hole here. And I'm going to cut one here. And I bet you know what I'm going to do. Feathered shirt hem. Yeah. So I've cut slices in this. So what I'm going to do with these slices is I'm going to take a piece of yarn. There, there. I thought I did three. There's a third one. Okay. So I am going to take this piece of yarn. And I am going to stuff it through that slice that I just made. I love this. This is thicker. Okay, where is that slice? That one I can see. I'm going to poke this yarn through that slice so that I've got stuff coming out of the middle of this shirt. Just like that. And then I've got this one over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I lost the yarn because it's stuck to my fingers. It's the <laughs> Doesn't help when your hands are dry. And you've got dried glue on them. And I got some yarn sticking out there. Now, where did I put that other slice, guys? Right there. Right there. Another piece of yarn. Yeah, that's one thing. Like, I love gel printing, I have lots of prints. But I don't use my prints for, uh, they're, they're, I use them like this. I don't always, you know, I don't keep them for much else, if that makes sense. They're just fun papers for me to play with because I don't normally have scrapbook paper in the house. I've got some right now because my neighbor moved and she gave me a bunch of stuff. So I had a pad of scrapbook paper. Look. I've got stuff sticking out. Stuff sticking out of this shirt. Can you see it? Whoa. Slid. Can you see the stuff sticking out? Oh, that hit the floor. <laughs> I'll get it later. It's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to put blobs of glue on these so that they will dry down. Yeah, so they're stuck there. So now I'm going to put that outside and let that dry a little bit. The stick for Sammy is going to have to go up to hold the head because we have a V-neck in the shirt here, so the stick has to be long. So we've got the pants. We need some yarn coming out of the bottom of the pants for straw. out of the sleeves yeah I've done some playing cards I do more ATCs and well I have 
for the longest time when I was doing gel prints, I would cut them up. So I've got a bin of like ATC blanks. These are all gel prints. I have three by fives, four by six, three by fours, and they're all cut up ready to be used. So I've got inchies and twinchies and I have stuff. Need just a bit of glue on top. I do use them in journals. Like this is a journal I'm working on, so I, I use them for pockets. I will cover an entire page. But, you know, a lot of times I just do an area and then I draw lines on it so that people can write on them. Scrapbook paper. I don't, like I said, I don't normally have scrapbook paper around. Napkin, leftover napkin from covering other pages. Yeah. Again, gel print. Oh, am I even on camera? So I, I do use it for backgrounds in my journals too. That's a work in progress, that journal. And masks, yep. And Goonie Birds. This is how I do my Goonie Birds. I just cut out bits and just keep adding until I'm happy with it. That's how I do my Goonie Birds, my masks, my ladies, my uh, floral cards. I do a lot of floral cards. These are my favorite to do. These are scraps. So, yeah. It is what it is, guys. I just, I need to play. Scraps are involved in very many things in my life. Oh, you know what? This guy might have a hairy chest. We have some hair coming up. Oh, I love gel printing on tracing paper. This one is done on tissue paper, which I also love doing. So that when you put it down, it's it's translucent. I just love it. That's going in one of those journals to the side there. A little bit sticking out of the shirt. Yeah, my Goonie Birds. My paper dolls, they also get clothing out of gel print scraps. I just like to play, you know? That's okay. Some days I can't spell it all at all, which is really bad because normally I'm pretty good. <laughs> like I say, this one's going to have a bit of a hairy chest. It's going to be coming up out of the shirt. Maybe. There's another one. All right. So now I'm going to glue the pants onto this shirt.
And I need arms and legs, arms and feet. This one's just going to have short arms. Cell phone typing. I don't even bother trying to type on my cell phone. I've, I've just got a cell phone that I can text on. My last one was a flip phone. I've had it since probably 2000. And my kids convinced me to get a new cell phone. So I did. So now I can text. Not that I like to text on it, because I don't like to text to begin with, but you know. You do you do what you do because you have kids, right? You have another strip of this. Thanks for being here, Barbara. Take care, hon. See you somewhere during the week. So I am going to stick this head on a stick because I've got a V-neck there. Appreciate you being here, Barbara. Oh, and thanks for the song emails. Barbara sends me emails with song stuff in it if I don't recognize a song, which is kind of weird that I don't recognize as many songs as Okay, so the head is on a stick on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I need to put some legs on yet. I'll show you. I'm going to wait for a reveal on this one. You can just see them from the back right now. There will be a reveal. So that's probably going to be the stick that's holding them up. These guys are really big. You've got to stick down, really. And I guess I need legs. Short little legs for this one. Oh, maybe this one will have boots on too. And this one. Oh, that's totally dry. What are you doing? I goofed. I put glue on there and I didn't. Shouldn't have. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just wipe that off. Now, I have to put clothespins on these for a sec. I think I need something a little bit sturdier across here because it seems pretty weak. But we'll see when we turn them over what happens. This is very tall. I don't know that he's going to fit in a journal unless I do a big journal. Or maybe in the heart journal. How tall is he already? Let's measure. Let's see how tall these guys are because they're getting really carried away. Jimbo is 
from the bottom of the stick to the top of his hat, six and three quarter inches. Yeah, careful where I place that stick. And Snippet is just under seven inches, almost seven inches tall. Or she is seven inches tall. This one is nine inches tall. Wow. Well, I might have to shorten them. Mm -hmm. We will see. Do I want to put boots on him? I think I'm going to put like big clunky boots. Got this brown, so I'm going to do clunky boots. So we're going to do a rounded toe. Heel. Boots. Wow, what are you wowing at, hon? Black marker. Linda, what are you wowing at? Is he so tall? Um, no, because I'm going to put the boots from the bottom of the stick to the top of his hat. He's nine inches, so the boots are still going to be shorter. Boots. Needs black across the bottom. See the sole. <clears throat> How would I shorten him? I would probably take this piece right here. Move it down to there. <coughs> and then I would cut this one and cut these a little bit shorter. So just a little bit was sticking out like this. Excuse me, I need to have a drink. <coughs> And then I could shorten this one. So now, from the tip of his hat, he's still nine inches. <laughs> I can adjust. I can adjust. I can cut these ones down more. 
Or actually, I could just cut off the bottom of the pants and redo them. Is he going to fit in my journal? If I put them in this journal, I have... Yeah, he would fit in this journal because I have nine inches from here plus. From there to here is nine inches. So he would fit in this journal. <coughs> Not that I wanted him in this journal, but he would fit in this journal. Oh, wait. He would also fit in... Let me see. I have to go get this other journal. Now you've got me curious. This one is ten and a quarter. So he would fit in this one too. So probably would go in the uh, peace, love, understanding, and sarcasm one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Ooh, I think I'm getting another mushroom, guys. I have another mushroom. Look. Look how pretty. What kind of wood is that? This one. Cherry. That's cherry? I have a cherry tree mushroom. Cherry wood mushroom. Thank you. For my mushroom collection. So yeah, this one will still fit in my journal. Well, it will. Okay. I'm going to take these off. And I'll do a reveal. And the boots will be on. I'll show you the boots. It doesn't fit on the screen. Thanks, Teresa. So I think this one's cute. I could definitely shorten him a bit, shorten the pants. That's okay. He's fine the way he is. He'll go in my peace, love, understanding, and uh, sarcasm journal. I have a place for him. I have a magnificent mushroom collection. It's on my uh, personal page. The reason there's a picture of it there today is because I dusted and I had to show off my new ones because I always get some new ones. I love him, her, Sammy. Sammy is marvelous. Hi, Stacy. I'm making, I'm using up scraps. So I just finished Sammy. He's a tall, lean dude. He's nine inches tall, but that's okay. And then we did Snippet. She does have eyes high up in her glasses. I just have to make those a little bit more visible. And the first one I did was Jimbo. So I'm just using up stuff from the bin because, you know, how we all end up with a bin of stuff on our desk. So I'm, I'm just kind of using up stuff from the bin. Jimbo doesn't have shoes. And... 
snippet needs some patches. <laughs> you really six foot seven? Wow. My eldest grandson is six foot two. And my daughter, my younger daughter and her family were over for supper this week. And my youngest grandson is taller than I am now. He's 12. <sighs> Thanks, Belinda. I had fun. I appreciate you guys talking me through and, and giving me ideas. I really do. There, I made her eyes bigger. So that helps with her. I am going to do this hat a little bit darker. But she does need some patches and they all need to be frayed. Like the yarn needs to be frayed a little bit more. But yeah, I think that she could have like a, a cat or something sitting on perched on her glasses. Thank you, thank you. This, this is how I roll though, right? This is how I play. I just keep adding and adding until I'm happy with stuff. This one's definitely complete, so I'm gonna make sure he's all frayed up now. Okay, Teresa, thanks for being here. I appreciate you coming. And I do hope it inspires you to play a bit. So since he was the prototype, the first one, I think he's okay, just the way he is. He doesn't need to have feet. I'm going to make his eyes bigger, too. And, of course, when the eyes... Let's cover the glue, because you can. Take another toothpick. Got to put the little white dots on the eyes, right? A little bit of highlight. And where's that pencil that I used? Give the cheeks a little bit more highlight buttons. Outline the buttons. And along here. I don't know what else he needs. Now's the time. Feedback. Tell me if they need anything. Do you agree that he's done? Maybe we should do this. Give the ribbon a little bit of stripes. Okay, I'll say he's done. She needs some patches. Too big? Yeah. And 
maybe a pink one. I know this is supposed to be a book. It's okay if I chop it down into a patch, really. Need a little red something? I could put lips, like do red lips on their stitched on faces. That could be fun. I could draw on some lips. Definitely could do that. Just a tad bit smaller. What am I making smaller? Because I've glued everything down. But I could take this red gel pen. I could just do like just some little red lips like this. Almost like a little heart. Like that. Do a red top the buttons. And three some lips as well. Do that on the cheeks as well, a little bit of red highlight. This guy's got a hairy chest. It's got stuff coming out everywhere. Need lips as well. Let's give him some rosy cheeks. I'd like to use. Do, 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 do. I got this red brush pen. Oh, much nicer for cheeks. Oh, I got really carried away there. And slipped. That's okay. We'll just make them bigger. Really big cheeks. Um, red. You say you he needs red. Oh, no. Oh, smeared. Back. It's okay. It's okay. No, what's really missing is some shadowing. Grab a gray pencil. Let's give it some shading. Get a better gray pencil. This one. There we go. Better with some shadow. You can see a little bit more out detail.
red on his patches. Well, he's got the purple. Maybe use this and make those dots red. Like that. Okay. This one needs all her hair taken apart. All the hair needs to be frayed. I got paint. I got glue on my hands. It's been a wonderful day. Thanks again for you guys being here. I appreciate you guys coming and joining me while I putz around with this. Do you think the straw is too long under her skirt? Should I shorten it in a couple of places? those are just a little long. We'll just cut these down. This is better if they're different lengths, right? That's better. Okay, let's do the shading on her. Um, under the glasses for sure. the nose, the hat, here, under the cheeks a little, definitely under the neck, and the patch. Flower. I think I want to trim a couple of these because some of them are long. <laughs> I have had a blast. This is what I like to do. Well, let's put her on here because. The straw doesn't show up against my mucky table. So there is Snippet. Yeah. Not sure I like the, the way I did these cats. I freehand cut them. It's kind of like he's looking over his shoulder. So I don't know. Let's go put the cat maybe on the shoulder and then a bird on the hat. Not sure. But I like the cat. Put the cat there, guys. Yes, no. This side. We'll think about the cat. Okay, this definitely needs to be frayed because I didn't fray any of it.
black cat. Let's do a black cat. You thinking Halloween, black cats and scarecrows? I like Halloween. Stacy, I thought of you this week. I took that week-long course, um, workshop week. It was a full week of free craft classes. They started 8 o'clock in the morning my time and went to about 4, between 4 and 5 my time. So it was a full day, 5 to 6 classes each day. And one of them was painting cats on heads. And I have to see if I can find it quick. Because I thought of you. Because I had an awful lot of fun doing it. But just the cats on heads, I thought you would be able to relate to. It's in here someplace. I will find it. Calico cat. Calico cat might blend in too much. Okay, where's my cat's on heads? You would think I would have put them all in order in the book, in my art journal, as I played, but I did not. Come on, kid. I know it's in here, because I glued it in here. But it was a lot of fun. This lady does a lot of cats on heads. It's, it's her trademark thing, and it was an absolute blast. But of course, she paints them all, and I painted mine. But I was thinking it could be so much fun to do it this way. Oh, moving next Saturday. Okay. Here it is. So I had an absolute blast playing in this workshop with this one. <laughs> it was so much fun. So much fun. So I was thinking maybe I would do a, a series of ATCs of those too, even if it is her trademark. Her style and my style of painting are totally different. And she uses watercolor. I used acrylics, of course, because that's what I've got. But it was a lot of fun. Ah, oh, thanks, Brenda. Oh, nice. Uh-oh, I'm getting, something didn't get glued down nicely there. It's coming off. Rats. Need the glue, need more glue. Well, so this one isn't done because he needs more glue to hold this stuff down. So I won't be able to shade him until tomorrow then, or definitely later. But yeah, she's drawing all these faces on her paper. And I'm just looking and going, wow, that's a lot of faces you're going to be covering there. But it was so much fun. It really was so much fun.
So as I say, I'm not going to be able to shade this until all my glue is dry because this yarn is pulling out as I'm unraveling it. So Sammy is going to have to sit aside for a while. So then I'll do the shadowing and everything. Break up the yarn a little bit more. Black cat, black cat, black cat, black cat. I have black paper. Surprise! And it's a scrap. Said Stacy one. A cat on heads? Okay. I can do that. I can do that for sure. For sure, for sure. I am sending Belinda a bunch of stamped cats because I've got cat stamps, evidently. And I am sending lady stamps to Teresa. I can send you... I'll paint you a page of cats on heads because it's fun. Okay, so now I need to make a black cat. A black cat. Oh, I have it. I have it. Okay, got to do it this way because I can't just cut one, guys. You know, I just can't cut one. I always have to cut multiples. I don't know what that is about, but we'll see if I can. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to cut these the way my mom used to draw cats. Because my mom could never draw. So her cats were always facing backwards. So she didn't have to draw faces. So I've got black cats and I'm going to take my white stuff. Do I only have three? I thought I cut there's four. There's four. Can't count either, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm going to do, do, do. I'm going to use white for the eyes for now because I can. Tail's going to come up. Come on. This one is definitely done. I have another cat. Yeah, no, these have faces. These have faces, Brenda. Where did they go? Should have left it open to that page. But mine have faces. Whatever. Yeah, no, nope. some of them have faces. Some of them have open eyes and some of them have sleepy eyes. Maybe I should have left them sitting backwards. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh no. 
I got these on Amazon. White ink seems to dry out very fast, I was told. And the pink nudes. I need the pink nudes. And some pink at the ears. No, that looks like a stunned cat. Yes, no. How would you draw paws in? Does he work? Is he too big? I could make it a calico cat. I just have to stamp some brown paint or whatever on him. But you guys say he works, I'll glue him down. I'm going to glue him down. Jimbo has a cat. All right. Well, guys, I have been on for three hours. That's a long one again. I hope you had as much fun as I did because seriously, I had an absolute blast. We've got Jimbo and Snippet and Sammy. So thanks again for being here it was a blast i used up some scraps a new way to use up scraps for me so i will probably end up with a whole family of these because you know i can't just stop once i'm on a roll but again thank you for being here i appreciate you all if you played along please post it in my group i would love to see what you guys were creating along with me and have a wonderful, wonderful evening and see you Tuesday. If I don't see you at somebody's live before then have a lovely evening guys. Thanks.